hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to integrate uh, admin dashboard here you can see this is a normal admin dashboard so i'm going to actually integrate a template here and the template link will be given in the description i'll provide you the template link in the description so that you can download it and integrate it so you just have to actually copy me just follow me step by step so guys here you can see this is a template location here you can see download zip i'm going to actually click here download zip and the zip file will be downloaded after the download will be complete we'll actually go to the destination of the folder and here i'm going to actually extract it and here you can see admin template main so i'm going to actually copy everything i mean cut everything from here or let's say copy everything and then go to the uh, my project directory here inside jamp and then htdocs and then lara e-commerce and here we have a folder that is public and we have to actually keep here okay uh, basically i'm going to create here one more folder for the admin so i'm going to create here uh, a folder and that will be admin and i'm going to paste it inside admin so this is the index file and this is the admin template here you can see this is the admin template we will actually integrate it okay let's go to the code editor here and if i go to the public here you can see we have admin folder and we have to actually go for the index okay so i'm going to actually copy everything from here and then i will go to the resources then here you can see we have admin folder in the views and i'm going to actually create here a new file and the file name would be let's say main design d e s i g n design dot blade dot php and i'm going to paste it here so what i'm going to do let's say uh, i want to actually make it main design and every single time if i create any other you know uh, view in the inside admin folder then i want to actually extend the uh, design only okay i mean main design I will extend it and then I will uh, do some other work. Let's say I will create a section and then I will yield it in the main design. Here you can see uh, this is the admin dashboard, right? So now this is the main design and uh, I want to actually go for the dashboard here you can see and here I'm going to actually uh, extend uh, the main design here. At first I'm going to say extend ext and extends the file name and that is admin dot why because it is inside admin folder right and then we have main design so i will say main d e s i g n design right main design dot blade dot php now let's go there and if i refresh now you can see uh, the style will be changed i mean here we have all the html elements right uh, we are missing the css style this is because uh, if i go to the main design here you can see uh, this uh, I haven't actually mentioned here admin folder right because if I go to the public folder here you can see all the file is inside admin right inside admin folder so you just have to actually mention in every reference or every link or every link uh, I, I have to actually mention here admin slash okay admin slash because I have to mention the root folder so I'm going to actually copy and paste it here so we don't have to actually mention here because this is uh, from the google this is uh, dns right okay and here i'm going to paste uh, it and paste it also then paste it also then we just have to actually go at very uh, you know bottom and here i'm going to actually uh, paste it paste it that's it now let's go and check if i refresh it should work okay so we have integrated the template right now according to your needs you can actually change all the menu side menu side menu here you can see and uh, we can actually change uh, this pop-up menu also because we don't need it right we don't want to actually use here you know different language so we'll actually use here a single language and that is english now let's go for the logout button so i'm going to actually show you the logout button how it works okay so let's go and here we'll actually go for the logout button so i'm going to say here but at first i'm going to actually remove all the unnecessary things let's go here and let's say i want to keep uh, home then i want to keep example drop down here you can see we are in the sidebar so we will go here and we will remove all the unnecessary things so the first one is for the header you can see header just end here and now here you can see we have uh, mark step or stephen whatever say i actually want to change the name 
to let's say e-commerce or admin okay admin and here i'm going to say e-commerce e-commerce and then we are going to change here a little and that is here you can see we have uh, tables so i'm going to actually remove all the link from here so we'll actually keep only home then uh, the example drop down okay and here i'm going to change uh, a letter just keep as it is and then we just have to uh, okay so this is and these are unnecessary right so this is the first ul and the second from the second ul actually we'll uh, remove the second ul okay and then we have another uh, sidebar navigation end here you can see okay so now we have remove sidebars here you can see we have just only home then uh, example drop down and then login page so we will actually remove it okay login page we don't need this login page so we are going to remove it or i can actually uh, keep it uh, i mean i can uh, say here that home page okay home page and uh, we have also another home here you can see so we don't need to actually keep it let's remove it that's it refresh okay and then we have extra here so i'm going to remove this also this pen and this pen only okay yeah refresh okay now it's look uh, more awesome right now let's say i don't want to show uh, these uh, interfaces here so i'm going to actually go here you can see i'm going to actually keep this div only okay this div and after that i will remove everything okay without this div so i will actually take the first uh, section div here you can see first row so this row will be uh, where so we have new clients new project so new clients then div is new project then the next div is new invoices then uh, all project all project okay done so done and the first section is done and now we will remove rest of them okay let's go and remove rest of them all the section all the sections okay so we have here footer and here i'm going to say end of section end of all sections done now let's go refresh okay now it's look more clear right so uh, now here we don't want all of this we just want a logout button so let's go i'm going to remove this so i'm going to click here and this one okay so let's go and remove this mm, and this one also refresh okay so we have here still mega menu okay so i'm going to uh, remove this list drop down so all the task if i remove this so if i go there and refresh it should gone here you can see now we sh we have a mega here mega and this email uh so i'm going to actually remove this also and we'll go for the end of mega menu so let's go let's go and check end of mega menu here you can see so that's it now we'll go for the language drop down because we don't need the language also so i'm going to remove it okay done everything is done and we have task end and everything and then we just have to actually keep logout button also so refresh we, we just have to actually keep here logout button right now uh, let's uh, go for the logout button i mean let's work with it if we click here logout it will not be logged out currently so we have to actually um, give here a route here you can see uh, if we click here logout button it will actually go for the login.html so we don't want to actually do this we want to actually destroy the session and we want to log out the user right our admin so what i have to do i have to actually go for the layouts here you can see layouts so we just have to actually go for the resources here you can see resources and then layouts and here we have navigation okay and inside navigation we should have a link so i'm going to say link and here you can see uh, we should go for the logout button logout 
okay so we have a logout button here what do you have to do you just have to actually copy it copy this form okay so i'm going to actually copy this copy this form that's it now let's go here and let's remove this okay undo it and let's go there and i will actually remove this anchor link here and i'm going to keep this div here fresh div okay and here i'm going to paste the actually paste it here so this is for the logout and everything is done here now let's go and refresh it should work so we have a logout button here if i click on logout here you can see this uh, we are in the uh, home page right and if i want to access the admin dashboard it actually asking me to log in right okay now let's say i want to log in as admin here you can see i am currently in admin dashboard so we have integrated the admin template successfully right okay so make sure to give a like please and uh, subscribe the channel for more videos like this so that's it thank you so much for watching